All right, this method I'm going to show you is a hold down method that I, after doing this for four years, this is the one that I really like the best. While there's a hundred different methods, this one I really like the best. What I've done is just put a stop block up here, and I just basically take my board and just, you know, rotate it. I put it right up here, so again here, run it up there, rotate it, run it up there, rotate it, run up there and rotate it, dip on all four corners. And that gives me a slot for a fender washer to hold. So let me do the last one. All of these have taken another stack, maybe two minutes to do this. Uh, I could drill them with a, with a drill. They wouldn't be accurate um, each time. Um, and uh, this this allows me to, to you know, when, when it's held down in the jig, allows me to flatten, allows me to have access to the whole top. It keeps them held down flat and it allows it not to move the way I set it up. So let me go over, get this last one done, then we'll go over to the CNC. Okay, I went through and milled all those boards and took every bit of about two minutes to run them all through the saw. And what I've got here is, these are brass fender washers. You buy them special order off Amazon. Get 12 of them, or 10 of them for about 12 bucks, something like that, and they're solid brass. I'm using a solid brass screw solid brass screws here on these four. So everything on the table is solid brass. So um, I found that brass will cut with the CNC pretty easy, even if it hits it pretty hard. And uh, so it might save that one eighth inch bit, which is a $20 bill. So uh, after I've been doing this for a few years, I've learned that the biggest enemy I have is anything that sticks above the edge of this board. The way this is set up, I've got a quarter inch plywood this is my jig board. All I did is just take my project and tell it and draw a rectangle around it, and I generally make it an eighth inch bigger. And then I, that allows me to put a popsicle stick in there. And all it is is just a rectangular block. And most of my blocks are square, so I can cut them on a table saw. They're all exactly the same. They fit down in there. And uh, to loosen them up, all I to pre-get them in there, I just put, put the two popsicles in there. It takes me every bit of about ten, maybe ten seconds to put the whole thing in there, and then another 10 seconds to tighten the screws up so the fender washers are there they hold the thing flat allows the face to be milled and it doesn't go anywhere i mean this i'm moving the whole cnc table by by doing that and so it's not going to go anywhere it's not going to go up it's not going to go down it's locked in by the plywood and these and these are really just kind of alignment cams there's one there and it just makes them all fit in there the same way each time just put equal pressure on that and it centers it up so you don't have one sitting off to the left a sixteenth of an inch or an eighth of an inch. And then uh, the fender washers, if I needed on a bigger project, I could put another notch, you know, washer over here, one over there, and that would probably be enough. I wouldn't even need these. But these allow alignment and they're so easy to put in and uh, lines your jig up each time. So let's go ahead and get this thing going and uh, we'll see what we get out of it. All right, this is something that I'm trying to come up with. Got our coat around the outside, but I made some big ones. Um, I think this is one of my first little ones, and it had that spot in it, so I didn't. Uh, I just kept it as just uh, round. And I thought I'd be a bit of those, but I'm thinking I'm using one eighth or a sixteen inch ball nose. So I'm going back and doing that. And then uh, this is my first rendition. I thought, wait a second, that ain't right. So I need to cut a pocket on it, and then I need to put the ball nose lettering in there. And that will pocket will go down and raise the emblem up like this one is and bring it down to thickness and i also add tabs two tabs in each corner and then i remove my popsicles because uh my board was so chintzy on where it was at that i would use my popsicle jigs to spacer it and get it perfectly in the center of my jig and then i put my four brass washers of course back into the four corners and you know now that it's solid so i'm gonna go ahead and run that and see what my new uh my new uh vectors are and it should be a little bit different than this one so first one i think i'll load up will be the quarter inch end mill which will go around here and put this pocket in or i might do the uh the ball nose but uh, i'll probably just do the quarter quarter inch end mill just because it'll be faster okay gonna start out with a quarter inch uh in mail cut, go down here to the range rim code, and one is 
the pocket for the text, underline one. So I'm gonna do that. Go down, quarter inch end mill, that's what I got loaded up. I've got it zeroed, so we're gonna take off running with that. All right. So far so good. She's uh, doing that part. We're gonna cut it out and have a look at it, see where my tabs fit. And then probably go back and adjust the next one just a little bit more. But there you go, we'll see what we do here. Okay, well, that's after taking it in three or four times. I'm gonna have a look at the uh, text on it, see what it looks like. I might carve one on uh, with the V bit just to see on the next one down, but uh, get closer all the time.